Looks pretty trashed up from the back. I mean, there's TVs here, so many of them. It's very chaotic in here. Oh man. This must have been one really big hotel back in the day, too. So let me guys give you a little bit of history on the place. So this abandoned hotel here on Hachiyojima has been known to be here since the 1970s. The opening date is currently unknown. We don't know when this place was first built. And 85 out of 89 rooms had ocean views was the ocean view pretty much that they'd be seeing from this hotel insanely beautiful there was a small banquet room five meeting rooms that was possible to accommodate over a hundred people a emerald hot water spa a tennis court and a golf course we're gonna try to find all the rooms as we explore the place and this place was closed in 2004 due to natural collapse and so on it's the same history as Hachiojima hotel not too many people came on this island because when the Japanese were allowed to travel outside the country around the 1960s or 1970s, it got better and better for them. Many people preferred traveling to Thailand, Bali, Indonesia, other tropical places for vacation. It's not too many people came on this island. Sales were dropping down and they didn't have enough money to keep up with the repairs. And they had to close it down in 2004. And now it's just left abandoned like this. Unbelievable. Anyway, there's so many things we're gonna be seeing, so many rooms, I can't wait to explore it. So let's get going, but before we do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Steve Ronin, and we go on epic adventures every single week. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. And also, I wanna welcome you to the Ronin family. Don't forget to join our Discord server. I'm on there 24 seven, just chatting at everyone. And it's just a chill place to just vibe around and talk to people. Yeah, we have a great community going on with the Rowan family. So yeah, I would love for you to join. Come check it out and come say hi. Links will be down in the description. It is crazy windy right now. We probably have to watch out for the breeze flying. If you're near the window. Yeah, for the most part, it's insane how many stuff was left behind. This looks like it was part of an arcade machine. Looks like they took out the big screens from them. Over there, looks like it could have been like a little gift shop area. Because of the glass shelves. This looks more like the front desk. Just assuming because there's, there's numbers right here. I think those were the room numbers. Maybe they would take the key and give it to you from here. Now, I've been to Hachiyojima before two years ago. I managed to explore two hotels as I was here. One being the Arcade Hotel that you saw the other day and Hachiojima Royal Hotel, which is by far my favorite abandoned hotel I've ever explored. The first video has over 5.5 million views. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, go watch the first video. This hotel, I did not get to explore it because one of my friends, he broke his camera. He had to go fix it. We had to fly out. It was pretty chaotic. But yeah, so I'm super happy to be here right now and to finally finish off the three abandoned hotels on this island.
And I think these are the only abandoned places here on Hachirojima. I'm not sure what that says. Let's see if Google knows. Rent a car. Rental. Oh, it's a car rental place. Nice, okay. Crazy how it says it in English. Wow. It's a little office room. I think these are the hotel brochures. Yeah, it is. So this place was called Hachiojima Kokoso Kanko Hotel. There's a picture of it. Here's like the food menu. Here are pictures of like the onsens and the pools. It had an ocean view. And yeah, in order to get on this island, you would have to take a ferry. It's such a, like, a really cool journey to get here. Nowadays, they, they built an airport and uh, we took a flight instead. And look at the front picture though. The scuba diving activities look insane over here. I just made it to what looks like the banquet hall. All that's missing are the tables. This place has a lot of abandoned TVs. Seeing a lot of mold here in this hotel. And that's probably because of the water and rain seeping in. So I just made it back here because I really want to check out where this will lead. I feel like it might lead to the pool or the onsens. Man, the vending machines. They're still here. Huh? Oh my god, it's one of those big spiders again. Well, I just found another huntsman spider. It's big, as you can see, comparing to the exit sign. Okay, bye bye. Oh man, they must be everywhere here. We've been seeing those type of spiders everywhere in the abandoned buildings we've been exploring. And they usually stay in buildings like this. If you notice how they're flat, their bodies are perfect to just be on the walls. And they stay indoors because they're protected from like the birds. I think these weren't even here when it was abandoned. I feel like, yeah, maybe the trees were here. But over time, they just kept growing, growing. No one's been able to take care of them. And that's why it looks like this. This must have been some sort of karaoke room. That's what I'm assuming. It's pretty neat. I think it is the karaoke room because there's machines there. Like stereo systems. And there's some, I don't know, there's some stuff that way, but it's pretty wrecked. Okay. It's up to you. Can I have a look? Yeah. Yeah. Man, this must have looked really, really beautiful back in the day. I'm sure there used to be like water flowing here, and the plants probably had flowers on them. Mike and Grace think they could have been pink or white flowers. So these might have been the flowers. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't even think we can walk across this. These stairs also lead up to the second floor. Whoa! We got a broken down car here. No way. Two of them. Can't really make up what they used to be. Okay, we're now making it to the floors with the hotel rooms. We have a lot more to explore. There's another building just right next door. And I believe that could have been the tennis court. No, that's not a grasshopper. Yeah, it is. Is it? Look at its mouth. No, I don't really know. It actually is a spider. It's got four legs. That, yeah, no, that's a, that's a spider. That is it? really cool. Could be a new oh, species. Shit, shit, totally shit, totally shit. Walking away, walking away. Is it, or are they feelers? I don't know. It seems. Oh, look at his butt. Yeah, that's definitely an aggression thing. But are they pinches at the front there? Hmm. I love this thing.
It's like a scorpion spider cricket. Do you think it wants to be in here or out there? Should I let it outside or live in here? No, um, I don't know. Because the birds might eat it. Yeah. Man, don't know what sort of insect that is. Anyway, moving on. Now on the other side, our other rooms. Now these were the ones where people used to stay in. Pretty decent size. This one doesn't have an ocean view though. And there's some rooms here with an ocean view. We can get on top of the roof here. It's solid, which is good. Whoa, you can see the highway bridge from here. There's robes. Okay. So cross. Cross? Yeah. Cross cross. Oh, on the door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we can make like religious noises on the door. Anyway. Trying to get a, some natural lighting here so we can get a cool shot of the door. Getting really, really dark now. This room looks different. Same setup though, just opposite direction. I guess this was like a smoking room. Found this little folder and it seems like they're in each room. It holds information, as you can see. This one's in Japanese. This could have been like a menu, like a lunch and dinner menu. There's all the food and drinks you can get from the hotel. And here are, here's some information on the activities and how much they would cost. Scuba diving, one of the scuba diving activities costs 15,000 yen. That's almost 150 US dollars. Fishing would cost 3,500 yen. That's like 35 bucks. It looks like you can take a boat ride somewhere. I think it's on the island that you can see off in a distance from here. Where is it? Oh, come on. You can kind of see the edge of it through this window. You can actually get on that island, but... It's currently unpopulated and abandoned. You can still get on it though. But no one ever goes there. I actually want to go there, and hopefully we have time to do that. But if not, I'm gonna to have to come back again some other time. What? We have to go here! That's like a field of beautiful flowers. Wow, that looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, there's so many cool activities. These pictures must have been taken around the 80s. Look at that car. I think um, we're gonna come back tomorrow, early morning. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna continue off this video when we get back here. All right guys, made it back. It's the next day and it's bright and early. Well, actually no, it's an afternoon. Anyway, new guy joined in. Yeah, what's up? His name is Vulcan, we actually met him last night. He's also visiting Hachiojima and he wanted to come along and explore with us today. So yeah, but um, it's cool. Now we can see a lot better and we still have halfway more to go. So I just came at the end of the hallway and it's so different during the daylight. There's some rooms that I didn't even notice because it was so dark. Like this one right here. 
room 322. This one still has the slippers. Check out the fish you can get from this island. I don't know what type of fish they are, but they're big. This, these this these, ones. these uh, Japanese people uh, camping n near us, they were cleaning their fish yesterday. Yeah. And their fish was like huge, like this, like all giant size. And you just got to keep it, right? Can yeah. you keep the fish? I'm sure, yeah. Oh, that'd be a nice, nice dinner. Yeah. Nice meal for the week. Uh-huh. I think fishing is pretty famous on this island. Mm, seems like it. Dude, I want a fish. I want a spear fish. Uh -huh. Like your friends are doing. Moving on. I think this is like the third floor. I'm sure some of these rooms look very similar to the bottom ones. But this is something different. See the door downstairs should be like this. And not close. Uh -huh. So I guess we can, yeah. So let's try to see what the rooms look like. You can see a gorgeous view from here of uh, this is Hachio Fuji. It's the tallest mountain here on Hachiojima and the tallest mountain out of all the Izu Islands. They're heavy doors. Wow, this room is really clean. Yeah, it's super clean. Nice wood. Yeah, man. Oh. These weren't even used when it got abandoned. That's probably why it's just really pristine. Wow, this one is actually a coin safe. I can't open it. If there was stuff inside, I wouldn't take anything. I just want to show you guys what could be possibly in here. Wow, we found this little balcony though at the end of the uh, hallway. It's probably the emergency escape. But look. Look at this view. Guys, I wish you were here to see this in person. Hopefully this video makes up for it though, just a tiny bit, because it just looks like a painting for me. I feel like King Kong lives on that island. And hopefully next time I come here, I actually explore the island because you can get on it. And apparently there's a lot of abandoned stuff because that place used to be populated in the past. But um, I forgot why they had to evacuate the island. I think it was just maybe um, not too many people were going there to take care of the place. So yeah, it would be cool to visit it one of these days. Also, um, this hotel that we're exploring had a golf course. I believe it's somewhere over there. Somewhere behind these overgrown trees. And right there is the swimming pool. That way where we first came from or right here. I think this one might be easier. We'll see. It's a little different. Pretty sure the floors all look the same now. How about this? We're gonna go all the way up because that's probably where the best rooms are. Like the premium luxurious penthouse. suites. Yeah, the penthouse might be up here. By the way, got the Pikachu mask. Found this at the uh, Pokemon Coliseum. No, got this at the Pokemon Stadium in Tokyo. Absolutely love it, man. I wish I can get these for all of you guys. So we just made it on top of the rooftop. Whoa. Wow. This is sick. Yeah, sick. Now you could like have a party up here. Yeah. No one would even know. Do a little bonfire. Mm -hmm. Keep things Barbecue. warm. Barbecue. Watch the sunset. Yeah. It's funny, we've been having trouble getting hotel rooms here. Because it's golden week, everything is completely booked. Earlier this morning when we had to check out out of our Airbnb, we found a hotel, super expensive. Um, and it was pretty pricey, 
So I kind of wish we could have maybe just camped here on the rooftop. It looks pretty clean. The views here are so unreal on top of this abandoned hotel. Like, no one really is going to explore this and see this type of view no. anywhere besides here. Like, you have the best viewpoints of the mountain, of the, the island, next to Hachiyojima, and the bridge. It's a beautiful highway bridge. You guys have seen it probably in the previous videos. Absolutely amazing. And it's the most beautiful day ever. Yeah. This is one of the days where it's very calm, not too windy, not raining, clear skies. This is probably the, also the last floor. Oh, actually no. Yeah, this goes straight to the rooftop. Yeah. Hearing a weird banging noise. What is that? Uh, it's just the wind blowing the yeah. door. Yeah. Oh, this is for control the elevator. It's the elevator room. That's pretty much it. I think this would be like some sort of water pump. Yeah, we just reached the highest peak of the Saban Hotel. Yep. Seriously, just camp here. <laughs> wish, wish. Yo! The plane! You can see it landing from here! That looks crazy! That's about it with the rooftop. Really wanted to fly my drone from up there, but uh, as you saw, it's just really gusty sometimes, and I don't think that's safe for the drone. I think the elevator still works? <laughs> so unsafe. Yeah, uh, Urbex 101, never try to enter the elevators in abandoned places. <laughs> They're really bad. Okay, this is gonna be a weird way to get through here. Maybe let's go down the other way. Yeah. I don't want to get cut by a rusty door. Yeah. I found a ladder. Good. Like a rope ladder. Right across the rooms. Whoa. This one's this one's gnarly. Boarded up. This one's super gnarly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These ones sort of look different. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's got two rooms. Oh, so it's bigger than the, yeah, the normal this room? Yeah, this is So there's some bikini, bikini modeling or underwear modeling going on here. Right in the next room, I think it's the same structure, but opposite. But the bed is still really nice. Oh wow, yeah it's pretty clean in here. Yeah, that's pretty clean. So this is like uh, the maps of the floors. This one's the first floor. Maybe it can lead us to the penthouse. I hate is, touching is this, stuff. This isn't the penthouse, this, this room? Maybe not. I feel like a penthouse would look more luxurious and grand. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, this oh, thing is. They got, they can't got, even open it. They got a fish that's 10,000 yen. What? Yeah. Oh, no, a bottle. A bottle. Hmm. They got a 10,000 yen bottle. Hmm. Well, we can see some information in Japanese of the floors. Right now we're in the 6th floor. It goes from 6 to 1 to 625. Yeah. 
Here's the map. The hotel. Unfortunately, the uh, pinpoints are all in Japanese. We made it to the very opposite end. These are the only rooms now to check out. Plus it's handle. Yeah. Never know. Yeah, that's the mystery room. Maybe it's similar to this one. 625. But this one also lost its handle. Yeah. Okay. So I'm oh, sure. Corner room. Yeah, these are the corner rooms. I'm sure 625. It's pretty similar to 623, mm -hmm. but we can't get in. So I'm glad we can get in this one. Hmm. It's definitely different than the rest. Yeah. I wouldn't say as big, maybe? I think this room is by far my favorite room out of this abandoned hotel. I don't know, just has so much more personality to it and the lighting is incredible. Plus, the curtains blowing make it look really epic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who finally decided to show up. It's cool. Yeah. It's a cool room, isn't it? We got into the other rooftop as well. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the, there's a, like, looks like an escape ladder hanging down outside I of did. the stairwell? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind seeing, is it from this stairwell? I don't mind seeing where it's coming from. You guys found it? The escape ladder? Yeah, yeah you can see it. Must be for if there's a fire or something. It's really cool though that we're able to see the hotel's name right in front of our very eyes. There's the pool. Here are the other buildings. We never got the chance to explore them. Actually, wait, yeah, that's the garden with all the vines growing. But we couldn't get into that building because everything just collapsed, even the floor. Couldn't get to there either. Right here. I think this rooftop is better than the one we were just at. It's a lot smaller, but man, the views, especially this one, you have nothing blocking the view of this bridge when you're up at this level. Or whatever you want to call it, highway, bridge. Best view in town. It's this broken window. Inside it are these futon mattresses and blankets crazy how they just leave it all the way up here in case someone would want an extra one like imagine being the, the worker okay be right back coming up gotta go upstairs <laughs> that's probably why they live longer here in japan excuse me are you steve ronan maybe are, are, you, are you the steve ronan um Maybe, I can't speak to strangers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wait, this thing's higher up. What do you mean this ain't cool, Mike? This is pretty cool. This is where Mike was sticking his hand out being a weirdo. Uh, being yeah. This is the penthouse. <laughs> yeah, this is the penthouse. This is the bathtub for oh, yeah. the penthouse. Awesome. Private pool. That's about it, guys. We're gonna head downstairs now. Guys, we just made it back down to the garden. Before, it was a little bit too dark. And I tried showing you guys this room over here. You can see it a lot better. This was the um, little cafe. Perhaps even a bar? Well, I think the bar is over here. Yeah? Get into this. might have been a cafe. Serving tea. Other drinks. Sapporo machine. 
Yeah, there's a hint. There's a Sapporo machine. Oh yeah, here's the bar. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, man. There's it's so like, many uh, things. You get it's like uh, after a heavy night of drinking, like get into a bar fight and then just start smashing bottles everywhere. Yeah, it looks like they did that by the end of the closing date, huh? Yeah, they were probably like, "Fuck." Yeah. We lost so much money. Fuck. <laughs> what would you like today? Uh, we have uh, Kirin, Asahi, Sapporo, Highball. Nah, man. Highball. Highball room? Highball all day. All right. One highball coming up. One highball. Yeah, okay. We got some uh, J&B over here. Mm-mm. Highball. Highball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Out? Uh, oh. Nope. Highball? Highball. This still has liquid in it. This is unopened. But is it highball though? No, not highball. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave the bar. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, this no highball. Bar sucks. We have um, we have mystery drink. Nope, nope, sorry. Mystery drink. No, nope. highball all day. <laughs> the smallest stage in the world right here. Seriously. There's some arcade machines in there. There's space invaders. There's another one right next to it. Damn, I checked down that way. It's completely collapsed. But I didn't even see this. Watch your step. Okay. Oh, yes. Hmm. This is pretty crazy. Just watch your step, man. Right. On set. Seriously? Yeah. I was looking for that. Yeah, that's a little bit we couldn't cross over. Whoa. Yeah, the floor is absolutely wrecked uh -huh. over there. So this one looks fine. Yeah, we might be able to go in the onset. What are these beads? They're like seashell beads. Yeah. Like necklaces made of seashells. Wow. Did the roof just cave in? Pretty much. Yikes. I really want to get, get go inside. Uh, be careful, man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You just be really careful. Okay. Get inside. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Nice. I had to see it for myself too. Yeah, it's so, so cool. Watch your step. Okay. Holy fuck. Yeah, there's like nothing below us. This is a giant tatami room. Yeah, this is huge. Like whoever built this hotel expected like so many people. people. Yeah, so many people. It's a Same shame way. that it never happened. Yeah, the owner, the owner really went all out for this hotel. Yeah, I wonder what he's up to nowadays. <laughs> Oh, this room is huge. I think the bottom floors had more of the uh, premium suites. Yeah. Maybe the penthouse is on the first floor. Yeah. Easy access. Yeah, this is a weird TV looking thing. Mm -hmm. Very weird. I'm not sure what it is. Wow. I'm gonna take a piss. Okay. These floors feel very unsafe. Dead spider. Good thing it's dead. Yeah. I don't know if I want to walk across. You can see a hole there already? Oh, that's There's bad. no yeah, way. There's no way. That looks too sketchy. Man. It's probably something really cool back there. Yeah, could be. I wouldn't do it. No, it's not worth it. No. I don't fall through. Yeah. We just found a giant tub. Just a random giant tub. Could have been another onsen bath. Yeah. Maybe it's... Hmm, well, I don't know. I think so. Yeah. I've seen onsens like this. Alright, spiders around this corner.
<laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So remember that golf course I was talking about? Well, the hotel used to own one, and they still use it. It's a still an active golf course. Yeah, we just met Ari. She's really cool. Professional golfer. <laughs> they trimmed it up really good. How's it going, everyone? Well, I forgot to do my outro within the exploration, so I have to do it right here. Anyway, guys, I just want to say a big thank you for making it this far to the end of the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Uh, for me personally, I thought this was one of the best hotels I've ever explored. It was really, really big, um, and it had such amazing views. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is the fact that I didn't even take photos when I was there. Yeah, it was so weird. I looked into my folders on my desktop and I didn't even take any pictures, I guess. So, kind of bummed out about that. But this was a long, long video and it took so long to film and explore it. So that's probably why I didn't take any photos. Anyway, I'm currently here in front of this abandoned asylum. I'm here filming out in Italy, creating a series for you guys. And this will probably be be up on my channel after I'm done with the Philippine series and the Korea series so yeah got a lot coming up and I'm really sorry that I haven't been keeping up with the uploads it's because I've been sick on this trip and there's hardly any good Wi-Fi or internet speed plus I've been exploring every single day and filming so it was hard to balance all of those combined but um today is the last day of exploring and filming here in Italy and I'll be spending my time just editing and trying to upload as many videos as possible within these coming weeks. I'm gonna end the video here now. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button, like and share the video, and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Also, if you wish to support the channel even more, you can become a Patreon member. The links will be down in the description. I also wanna say a big shout out to the new Patreons, Martin Giles and Pixie Perfect. Thank you for becoming a supporter. Hope you guys live a life of freedom and water, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.